Hey, thank you everyone for coming. I want to start by introducing the Pacific Northwest Rainforest and explaining how the rainforest became disjunct. So many of you may be familiar with the rainforest that exists along the Pacific coast. It's pictured there in the top left. It's this beautiful, green, lush, wet, incredibly biodiverse rainforest. And what you may not know is that the exact same rainforest exists in the inland. And this inland rainforest is only about 60 miles east of where we are right now in Moscow, Idaho. So as I alluded to, the rainforest has not always been disjunct. The rainforest became disjunct about five million years ago with the uplift of the Cascade Mountain Range. With the uplift of these mountains, a huge rain shadow was cast across the Columbia Basin, and this made the basin very dry, very arid, and completely unsuitable to support a rainforest. And this rain shadow is essentially what caused this massive fragmentation of the rainforest habitat. Now, because the rainforest is disjunct, researchers are really eager to understand what's going on with the species that are now disjunct and have had this massive disjunction in their geographic range. And so this study of how species are impacted by very dramatic fluctuations in their geographic distribution is the study of phylogeography. So some phylogeographic studies in the rainforest have actually found that species that were once in the widespread forest that were then subject to this disjunction are now actually two different species. And this was found in tailed frogs. So now there's a coastal species of tailed frog and an inland species of tailed frog. Now I don't study amphibians, I actually study plant species, some of which are pictured here in this right panel. And I'm asking the same phylogeographic questions about plants that researchers asked about these tailed frogs. I want to know how many, many different types of plant species across a broad range of functional groups have been impacted by this disjunction. And so when I say across a broad range of functional groups, I mean trees, shrubs, herbaceous plants, ferns, flowering plants, all sorts of different types. And my goal is to use comparative phylogeography to broadly characterize how the entire plant ecosystem has been impacted by this disjunction. And specifically how this disjunction has impacted the biodiversity of the rainforest. And so we know that some of the leading threats to biodiversity is habitat loss and habitat fragmentation. And the rainforest provides this prime opportunity for us to study specifically how an entire ecosystem has been impacted by massive habitat loss and massive habitat fragmentation. And so the goal here is that if we can characterize what's going on with these disjunct plant species, and if we can better understand how biodiversity has been impacted by this massive disjunction, we'll be able to take these insights that we learn here and apply them to other ecosystems. And in the future, have a better idea of how other ecosystems' biodiversity will be impacted by similar threats such as these. Thank you very much.